The artist I chose to write about in my research paper was Leonardo da Vinci. I'm not only chosen because he's such a great artist, but I love his paintings. Most of them are religious. Some of them show how smart he is overall in all the subjects, and I love that about him. Here is a statue of, a, of him in Italy. They placed his statue in Italy because this is where majority of the religious artwork stands. And I feel like he was a big part of the Renaissance period, which is a period where the religious artwork was made and it's probably the most famous. Like I said before, Leonardo brought many things in his paintings. He just didn't stick to one thing. And I feel like that's what I like most about him. He didn't just deal with religious paintings. He didn't just deal with paintings of people. He painted things that involved science, writing, English, even shapes. And I feel like that's what I like, like most about him. He didn't just stick to one thing. He deals with many things and he puts them together. For the first painting I'm gonna show you, it is the Vitruvian Man, which he painted in 1490. I like this painting because you can see that he just didn't stick with his religious beliefs or his average portrait paintings. You can tell that he used math in this painting with the different shapes. For example, the square surrounding the two men and the circle which is outlining the square or rectangle. And he also used English or writing in this painting. I like this painting. It is very different from his other paintings and it is sort of, it sort of just caught my eye because it's so different. And I feel like paintings like this should be appreciated just as much as his religious paintings. The second painting I'm gonna be showing you today, Leonardo painted this in 1511, and this painting is called Studies of the Fetus in the Womb. I feel like I decided to pick this painting to be a part of the video because not only did it stand out over all his paintings, but I feel like this painting shows a lot of science and he actually studied this painting before actually painting it and he put a lot of thought into it here is studies of the fetus in the womb you can see all the detail he put into it and his kind of side writings almost like as if he was a scientist And I guess I like that most about Leonardo. He wasn't just an artist, your average artist. Let me put some more. This painting shows Leonardo's brilliance. Yes, he's a great artist, but he's also very smart. And I feel like this painting did a good job at capturing just how good of an artist he is and how very talented he is and gifted with his brilliance. I originally picked Leonardo to be part of my research paper because I was most familiar with his artwork and I feel like I was most familiar with his artwork because of church and because of the family and because of all the paintings we have in the house. For example, The Last Supper, which he painted in 1498. And this is the last painting I have to show in my video. I like this painting because of the story behind it and if you don't know the story it's a pretty long story but long story short it's jesus's last supper and he i felt like he humbled everybody before he did what he did for all of us and i feel like leonardo did a great job capturing the message behind it and he did a great job putting the story into the painting and i feel like that's not appreciated enough and it should be. After showing you Leonardo's three paintings, it was kind of hard for me to narrow it down to three paintings, 
but I feel like these three captured most of his artwork. Like the fetus in the womb captured his brilliance and it showed how much he just didn't know about art. He knew about everything and I feel like that's why I picked that painting to be a part of this video. And the Vitruvian man showed his math skills and how he thought outside the box and he wasn't just ordinary. He wasn't a typical artist. He was different and I also like that so that's why I chose that one. And the Last Supper, it just, I've known that painting since I was little and I just felt like it should be a part of it since it's one of his most famous paintings. But last, I'm going to end with one of Leonardo's famous quotes. And it says, Learning Never Exhausts the Mind by Leonardo da Vinci. Not only is this quote very relatable, but I feel like it's a motivative quote and it just keeps you going from day to day, even when you feel like you're stuck. And I feel like Leonardo, he did get stuck sometimes, but that never stopped him. He's a famous artist and I feel like his work should be appreciated more, not just the famous paintings, but all of his paintings. And that's why I chose him to be a part of my research paper. I just love his artwork and I admire him, not only as an artist, but how brilliant he was. And 